Thank you for joining us here on the news at six. I'm Mike Seelan. We're officially counting down the days to St. Patrick's Day in Savannah as we are 11 days away. The parade isn't until next Friday, but there are still some big events to look forward to already this week. Our Shay Schrader joins us live from Forsyth Park and Shay that fountain will be green before the week's out. Yeah, Mike, that's absolutely right. Four days from now, this fountain is just going to be a beacon of St. Patrick's Day. That water is going to be completely green, and that's because the greening of the fountain ceremony is going to be on Friday morning. Then Saturday, there's going to be the Celtic Cross ceremony. So it's a really jam-packed week for the St. Patrick's Day committee, and they say that they have a lot going on behind the scenes while they're still preparing for all of these events. Now, of course, the main event is the parade, which is going to be on the 17th. It's the main event of the St. Patrick's Day season, but committee members tell me that all of these other events are just as important. They're an opportunity to slow down and really appreciate just how special St. Patrick's Day in Savannah really is. And then after they green the fountain in Forsyth Park this Friday, they're going to green each other fountain in the city as well. So they will all be that stunning green. After we green the fountain, we're going to plant a tree at Lafayette Square uh, along with the uh, Park and Tree Services Savannah. We pick a place that every year so that we put put a plant in the ground. It will take root just like our Irish heritage is taking root here in Savannah. The greening is is a very fun event. Um, our our twin 13 year old boys have, have been there for literally 10 or 11 years now um, since they could since they could walk on their own. That's that is a wonderful event. As with all St. Patrick's Day events, the committee is recommending that if you want to come to the greening of the fountain, make sure that you get there early and secure your spot because there are going to be a lot of people here in Forsyth Park. It's going to be really packed, so just get here early so you can soak everything in and you're not worrying about having to make your way through a crowd or worrying about parking or anything like that. And then, of course, while these events are going on, there are still final preparations underway to make sure that that parade on the 17th is as special as it can possibly be. So. The people on the committee really have their hands full these next couple of weeks. I'm working on that story for you coming up on tonight on the News at 11. Live in Forsyth Park, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.